Okay, first of all, if you have the Arch Nazaire or Jackie's Arch, then this bike won't actually perform any better than either of those. It's still an Arch bike. It does, however, look pretty dang cool and unique, and you can get it for free in just a minute. There's a mission to go along with getting the bike called the Highwayman, but honestly, I had to use a guide to figure that out, and it doesn't give any clear markers where to go. And what I figured out is that you don't actually have to do that mission to get this version of the Arch. All you have to do is go to the spot it's located at and retrieve it from the garage. Just go to the All Foods Plant Fast Travel Point in Watson and walk over to the shipping yard which should be forward and to the right of where you spawn in. There's a closed gate with a keypad next to it. Now it might seem like you don't have access to putting in the code like me. If so, it's because this particular keypad is weird and instead of using the interact button to put in the code, for Xbox it's the X button, you actually have to use the jump button, for Xbox that's the A button, and the code is 0214. Just enter the code and the bike is all yours. You don't even need to have completed the first chapter of the game to get this bike. Here you can see I'm on the heist mission, which is near the end of chapter 1, and I was still able to go get this bike, which is crazy. You do lose your starting car for a bit after completing chapter 1 of the game, and I'm not sure if you'll also lose this bike if you get it before completing the heist mission, but I would assume that you don't. Also, I'm not sure that if you grab this bike without completing the mission that it won't bug that mission out, but it's a pretty short side mission and doesn't seem to have any implications on the main story or possible endings. This bike is probably the coolest version of the Arch bike as it has blue glowing labels on the wheel, a samurai demon head on the front with glowing eyes for the headlights, quad exhaust, and a pearlescent paint finish. And now this is a personal opinion, but I think that the Arch bike is basically the best vehicle in the game. It's definitely the best bike in the game. There are only two bike archetypes, and this one is much faster than the other. And while it isn't as fast as the Caliburn car, which is a Bugatti lookalike and is the fastest car in the game, clocking in at over 200 miles per hour, this bike still gets up to an impressive 175 miles per hour or so, and it has amazing handling, can turn on a dime, works perfectly well in off-road areas like the Badlands, and can go places that no car could go due to its nice compact size. It is much better than any car in the game when your driving involves anything else besides driving on a straight road. So I hope you all enjoy this new and fancy looking bike. If you want to see more great content, I'll leave a few good videos at the end of this video, or you can head over to my channel where all those videos are hanging out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day. If you're here today, have a great Friday and a great weekend. And as always, thanks for watching.